Well, hi there. Welcome to another Spinning in Cowgirl Boots. I'm Jen, and I do like to spin yarn, and I always do it in my cowgirl boots. I, uh, I live my entire life in cowgirl boots, so it's not like this is special or anything. But every now and then I turn on the camera when I'm spinning yarn, and I start babbling, usually about history. And today we're going to talk about the history of the spinning wheel. I don't know why I haven't done that one yet. Better get on that, Jen. Okay, so the spinning wheel is not an ancient device, does not go back to antiquity. In fact, people were spinning for an estimated 9,000 years before the first spinning wheel was even invented. So we've been spinning yarn for 10,000 years, and the first wheel is about a 1,000 years old. Yeah, there you go. So 9,000 years of spinning with drop spindles and supported spindles and with no spinning wheel. The spinning wheel seems to have been invented in India. And then from there, it moved, technology moved into Persia and China. Now, we don't have any evidence of an actual wheel in India, but the language, the, the words that people were using um, to describe their spinning wheels in China and Persia seem to uh, have an Indian origin. The earliest actual evidence of an actual spinning wheel is in China. It's in the 1200s and all we have is a painting. It's a silk, uh, it's a painting on silk. So it's generally believed that spinning wheels date back to medieval times and we don't have any of those wheels none of them none of them seem to have survived we only know about them from images and from the way people talk about them or mention them in uh, in various pieces of writing the earliest wheel that one from the silk lithograph painting in china doesn't look at all like this wheel not even a little bit it's made with bamboo spokes to form the wheel and instead of being a rimmed wheel with a drive band going around it these spokes had little holes drilled under the ends of them and then a thread string was used to connect all of the bamboo spokes and the wheel itself was turned with a hand crank so it looks like you had to turn the wheel with your right hand and hold the fiber off at an angle in your left hand Those wheels show up in, well, first in Southern Europe, and then they, they migrate um, up into Northern Europe. They show up in Europe in the 1200s. And while we don't really have pictures of them, we're absolutely sure that they're in Germany by 1298 because uh, they passed a law against the use of yarn made with one of those old spoke hand turned wheels you could not use yarn made with those wheels as your warp in weaving you know they pass loss for everything and they always have now, those yarns made um, with that kind of wheel with that kind of technology they're very soft they don't have a lot of twist to them and uh, they can't really hold up to being the warp in weaving rimmed wheels seem to show up for the first time in france and in about, uh, I think it's the 14, 14th century. They're also hand cranked. But they do have a drive band going along the outside here of the rim. Whoop! Right down here. And they're very similar in construction to a device that was in, that they were using to, they call them bobbin winders. It's they had a device where they would take finished yarn and then wind them onto a bobbin using a hand crank and it had a rim and it had a drive band and it's generally believed that the first of those rimmed wheels which were called great wheels are sort of based off that construction now from there we start to see wheels with flyers show up before then they were just wind straight onto the bobbin and there was no flyer 
It seems like the first flyers show up in the Low Countries in the 1500s, and uh, Leonardo da Vinci was sketching out plans for spinning wheels that included a flyer at the time. But like all the things that Leonardo da Vinci sketched out, you know, he didn't build. Well, he didn't build any of them, did he? Well, he didn't build a spinning wheel. You know, mostly da Vinci got credit for being basically a daydreamer and a doodler. A very, very good doodler. A very accurate and detailed doodler. But mostly he just doodled things. He didn't actually make them. And you know what? That's a rant for another time. Back to the spinning wheels. <laughs> the first treadle wheel that you drive with your feet, that you could put on your cowgirl boots and make it turn. Yeah. Now those don't show up until the 1700s. And that's when spinning with a spinning wheel got serious. That's when you could actually add enough twist to the spun yarn on your wheel to make it um, to make it usable as a warp to make to make good strong thread. So 1700s, huh? 400 years ago, and that's what we think of as the the spinning wheel is only, of any design, is really only 400 years old. It's quite modern when you consider that humans were spinning for 9,600 years before the first treadle spinning wheel showed up. And I'm pretty good with my little treadle spinning wheel and you know with some practice and some patience and maybe half an hour or so I can sit down with any treadle wheel and make it work. I'm pretty sure that if I sat down with that bamboo spoke, hand-driven, threaded weirdo thing back in China, there's no way I could have made that work. Not a chance. I don't know how they were spinning before they were using their feet. So, that's the history of what I'm going to call the modern spinning wheel. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll come back because I do these little spinning and cowgirl boots every now and then. Till next time.